everybody, I wanted to come on here and do a quick video of how I use my GoPro chest mount. Um, I used it a few times the way it was recommended to be used and I realized that um, I didn't like the way it looked and I didn't like how um, non-stealthy, <laughs> how conspicuous it was. It was just, you could tell you were wearing a GoPro, you could tell um, something was going on and that's not what I was looking for. As someone who's a little bit more social introverted um, and who is looking to score the best deal so that I can resell to make money, I don't want it completely obvious that I'm filming in a thrift store or at a yard sale or the flea market. So I made mention a few videos back that I was altering my GoPro chest mount. So for those of you that don't know, this is a GoPro chest mount. It goes on like this. Um, now most of the time when I see a chest mount, it's usually on a male body. So when you're a female and you have on a GoPro chest mount, I'm hoping that I'm in view here, you have one of two options. You can either strap it directly across your chest or below. Now, one, this looks weird on a woman. Two, this looks weird on a woman. And also this looks, it just looks odd to me. It looks, you're just, you're, you're basically, everyone knows you're filming, which if they see the GoPro, they're gonna know you're filming. But what I did was I went ahead and altered my chest mount and I'm gonna take this off so that way I can give you a close-up of how I did that um, so I went looking for ways to inconspicuously wear your GoPro because I wanted to film more of the things that I was doing like yard sales flea markets garage sales thrift stores things like that and I could not find a mount that was stealthy <laughs> enough I keep saying stealthy because I don't really know the right words, I don't just want to be out there. The GoPro itself is already big. It's not a spy camera, it's a big camera. And it's um, attachment, the screw attachment is large, which I haven't found <laughs> a way to change the large uh, screw piece. But what I did find was, so the only, I could only find one YouTuber and who had shown what they had did. And what they did was they put on their chest mount and attach their GoPro and then would put on a button-up shirt and weed the camera out through the buttonholes which works but it's not a perfect system which this is by no means a perfect system but what I did was I bought the GoPro chest mount and then I bought two nano magnets from eBay and I attached them only here and here and I'll explain why in a minute hopefully that's bright enough to where you can see because you know what filming in the dark I probably filmed that whole thing in the dark and I'm really sorry I didn't realize that the lights weren't on so here's the magnets here and here they are on so if you unbuckle this they're on this piece here so if you have a GoPro chest mount this is where you're gonna place these nano magnets um, had I had I bought the I bought the magnets a long time ago for other things, so I had them sitting around. Now, I attached these with E6000. I probably would have got a little bit of a bigger magnet if I knew I was going to be doing this. But these nano magnets work great. They are sturdy. Like I said, there's only two magnets on here, and I'll show you why that's important. But again, I attached them with E6000 adhesive. So that way, when it clips on, you have your two magnets. So then... And I have an affiliate link for this down below if you're interested in any of this, not the E6000 or nano magnets, but this next mount. I went and I bought a snap mount. That's this piece. Let's see if I can do it without pinching myself. Yeah, there we go. Sorry if this video is noisy. I'm trying to go as quickly as I can and this is very impromptu. So here is the snap mount. It's done, as you can see, hello, with magnets. This was a, I believe a Kickstarter project that got funded and released. So you can get these on Amazon. Like I said, if you're interested, there is an affiliate link down below. So you can pretty much put this anywhere and stick it on. However, the GoPro is a little heavy. And I noticed that sometimes what would happen is I'd put it here and it would fall forward. If you're not wearing like 
like a dry fit like it's definitely made for somebody who's running if you're running or like a bicyclist and you have one of those athletic shirts that are super skin tight this will be this will be fine you'll only need this piece if you're like me and you like to wear a looser t-shirt which I do which this one this one's a little too loose but <laughs> regardless um you're gonna have an issue with it falling forward and that was another problem so I paid for this mount and realized that it's gonna fall forward so then I started getting crafty <laughs> so this is how it works you glue your magnets on get your gocho go gocho get your gopro chest mount and if you don't already have a gopro chest mount I bought it and didn't realize that I wasn't going to use it the way it was intended I probably would have got a no brand cheaper one from Amazon but what you're gonna do is you're gonna put on a shirt normally I would put on a tank top um, for this video I do not have a tank top on but you normally put on a tank top or whatever undershirt you would prefer you have to snap that on please wait 24 hours for your glue to dry before touching your GoPro mount or you will glue something shut that you don't want glued shut what you're gonna do then you're gonna take your snap mount hopefully I'm in view here take your snap mount and snap it on now you know I'm gonna take this off real quick just to show you the reason there's only two magnets is because when you put your snap mount on it's gonna attach to those two magnets right here and here now over here because of the buckle there is a gap so there's nowhere to really that I could find that I could attach a magnet to um, that would suffice on this side but because the GoPro chest mount has the piece here the slide part hopefully that's coming in it looks really dark on my side um, it kind of holds it up so yeah it won't really fall down so let's go ahead and put this back on to show you how I do this because you may have seen it in other videos where I was in the thrift store and I showed you in the mirror how you could only see my GoPro now I just twisted this all up but for intents and purposes that's okay normally your GoPro would not be twisted <laughs> so you're gonna take your chest mount you're gonna buckle it in over your shirt attach your snap mount grab your next t-shirt which in this case is my favorite t-shirt I'm sure you see it in a lot of videos and you're gonna put that on over now if you have a tank top it won't look so bulky but here we are so now you cannot see the GoPro chest mount no nope. can't see it now you're gonna take your extra piece your mounting piece you're gonna put your GoPro on it clearly I can't because you are here um, the only thing is it does have a neon green uh, screw piece and the piece that comes with it to screw in is also neon green I have swapped mine out for just the standard black and if I wanted to I could put some black over this or whatever but I haven't so now you're gonna find where your magnets are and you're done that's it and it snaps on and it's not pulling you can adjust it once you adjust your GoPro mount you can adjust that mount you can and then what I do if I'm out is you put your finger where your mount is and just pull and it pulls off and you just stick it in your pocket with your GoPro oh, but you can put it anywhere your chest mount is anywhere those magnets are you can put this one and because GoPro has a self leveler if you're crooked it's okay so for the whole thing I probably paid about 70 to 80 dollars but like I said if you want to go cheaper oh look now I'm stuck <laughs> ah, there we go it's durable it's strong I can run and this thing ain't coming off but if you want to make it cheaper you can find yourself a cheaper GoPro mount on Amazon or probably eBay that's not GoPro branded and get it that way you're still gonna need your magnets you're still gonna need a snap mount like I said I do have the snap mount which I'm not affiliated with I am I have an affiliate link but it's not my company <laughs> but I highly recommend this if you're gonna do it and you have any questions let me know okay but that's it I hope you learned something today and yeah so that's how I stealthily record inside the thrift store and the flea market 
So I hope everyone has a great week. I don't know when this video is going to fall, so I don't know when I'll see you next time, but I will see you next time. Bye.